Hi, boys and girls. It is Tuesday, and today we are going to continue our Earth Day theme, and we are going to read a book about Earth Day. So this is one of the little readers that we would probably read if we were sitting in a circle on the carpet, or you would read with me at the back table. This is an AR book. The code is 109440, and I will put that underneath the video for you at the end so you can take an AR test on this. After we are done reading our book, we are going to do a very quick making words activity as well. Are you ready? This is Earth Day, and it's by Trudy Strain Truitt. It doesn't say who the illustrator is. Oh, that's because it's real pictures. Hmm. Remember, when we have a book with real pictures, a lot of times that means that it is a nonfiction book. Most of the time when you have real pictures, in order to have real pictures of something, it has to be real. So when you see real pictures in a book, you can usually assume that it is going to be a book about something that has actually happened. Okay, here we go. Imagine a city where the air is so dirty, it is hard to breathe. Imagine a lake so full of oil that no fish or wildlife can live there. Have you ever been to either one of, have you ever had either one of those things happen around you? Have you ever been to a city that the air is so dirty that you can't breathe? I haven't. Have you ever been to a lake that's so black and so full of oil that fish can't live there? I haven't seen that either. Some places in the United States were like this 50 years ago. People didn't think as much about the environment back then. The environment is the air, land, and water that we need to survive. So here it shows us a picture. Let me get it closer to the camera. Here it shows us a picture of a polluted lake. Uh, let's see. There we go. A polluted lake would be a lake that is dirty. If something's polluted, it means that it has lots of extra yuckiness in it. So it looks like this lake has all sorts of trash around the bank of it. Inside of it, you can see some dirty things floating. So it says that used to a long time ago, people didn't think that it was important to keep things clean in the environment. Factories filled the air with smoke and pollution. Cars let off more gas fumes than they do today. Companies dumped dangerous materials into rivers. Chemicals used by farmers to grow food also damaged the soil. This caption on this picture says dangerous chemicals being dumped into a river. Look at all that. It's all yucky chemicals that are all going straight into a river. Factories used to put off smoke that would make the air dirty. Cars would let off gas and fumes that made the air dirty. Remember, this is 50 years ago. <coughs> U.S. Senator Gaylord Nelson felt America should be doing more to take care of the planet. He wanted to teach people how to protect Earth's air, soil, water, plants, and animals. This idea is known as conservation. So this is a senator, it's someone who's a politician who works in the government, and his name was Gaylord Nelson. And he thought enough is enough. I am ready to teach people that they need to keep our country, our planet, our earth, our environment clean. He said that it, he wanted to protect the air, the soil, which is like the dirt on the ground, water, plants, and animals. And if you're taking care and protecting all of those things, that is called conservation. Senator Nelson wanted to get more young people interested in conservation. So he created Earth Day. The first Earth Day was held on April 22nd, 1970. So that's 40 years old. This Wednesday, yes, this Wednesday, tomorrow, will be Earth Day, and it will be the 40th Earth Day that our country has had. And it was a day created by Senator Nelson to help get young people like you, to help get kids involved in keeping the earth clean. He thought, you know what, the, el the adults already do all the pollution and already make the planet dirty. Let's teach the kids how to keep it clean so that they don't do it whenever they get to be adults. 
And as you can see here, here's a calendar and it has the 22nd highlighted because we celebrate it on April 22nd. Millions of students took parts in marches. They gave speeches and they asked the world leaders to take action to save the environment. So here's some students saying, don't vandalize the earth. It says children today continue to celebrate Earth Day with parades. At school in first grade, when we're in our classroom, we usually celebrate Earth Day by doing a big recycling project. And recycling is one way that we can help the earth by not throwing, making so much trash. Earth Day made a difference. Laws were passed to protect the environment. Car makers had to build cars that created less pollution. Many harmful chemicals were outlawed. So people finally started listening. They said, oh, okay. And people started making cars that didn't make as much dirty gas. They also started to say, uh-uh, you're not allowed to use these bad chemicals. It says electric cars are good for the environment. So some cars, maybe your family has one. I've never actually been in one or seen one, but some cars have to be plugged in. Just like you plug in a lamp or you plug in a tablet to charge or you plug in a TV, some cars have to be plugged in at night in your garage. Cities began to recycle. People turned in, people turned in used paper, glass, and plastic. These items were later made into new products. Boxes, bags, and packing materials are all things that can be reused. Look at this word right here. Cities began to, do you see that word that I'm pointing to? That's recycle. I bet you know what recycling is. Recycling is when you take something and you use it for something else. Like this water bottle, I just happened to have sitting here, might not have been a water bottle to begin with. This plastic might have been made on a toy or something, but you can recycle things like plastic and make new things with them. Or if you um, use a toilet paper tube to make a telescope, you're recycling that toilet paper tube. You're reusing that toilet paper tube for another job. This actually, our lid that we have um, for our broccoli that is growing on the kitchen table behind me, this lid, actually the packaging said that this came from recycled material. So this cardboard that they printed on actually used to be something else. Okay. So this shows kids here recycling. Ways to celebrate. Most nations around the world celebrate Earth Day. Children in Australia pick up lit litter or trash along beaches. Do you know what litter is? If you're driving down the road and you see trash along the side of the road, that's litter. People in the United States and Canada plant trees. So in different places across the world, people celebrate it a little differently. This tells us that in Australia, the main thing that they do is pick up litter along their beaches. So children from school go and they pick up litter one day. A lot of times in the United States and in Canada, kids plant trees on Earth Day. Um, when you're in maybe fourth or fifth grade, you'll get to go to something that's called a conservation fair, and you usually get a little tree to plant at that fair. This picture caption says, planting a tree on Earth Day. Those friends are working together to plant it. Russian students plant vegetable gardens. They learn to grow food without using harmful chemicals. So you can also start a garden for Earth Day. That's a, a way to take care of the earth. Growing lettuce in a garden is what that caption says. That's what that little boy is doing. Does that look like the lettuce that you eat? It does, doesn't it? Some families talk about ways to take care of the environment on Earth Day. They may agree to turn off the water when they brush their teeth or to take shorter baths and showers. These steps save or conserve water. And here's a little boy brushing his teeth and underneath it, it says, you can save water while brushing your teeth. Family members might remind each other to recycle printer cartridges, old computers, cell phones, and some batteries can also be recycled. So does anybody have a drawer at their house that has all sorts of cords and remotes and phones and maybe keyboards? We used to have a drawer like that in our garage that just had all sorts of other random 
broken or unused electronics. By recycling electronics, that is also a way to conserve and recycle and help take care of the earth. Those are really old phones. You have probably never seen some phones like that. This is actually an old phone. This is an old phone and that's an old phone. They used to look like that whenever I was little. Now they look much different. You've all seen phones like this now. People talk about better ways to reuse items. Empty tissue boxes are good for storing many different things. Old milk jugs are perfect for watering plants. Paper gift bags and bows can be used again. This says a planter made from a milk carton. So there's all sorts of things that you can reuse. I bet if you look around to your house, you can find something. It says that you can reuse tissue boxes and you can put, you can store stuff in them. You can use milk containers to help water plants. Um, it says you can use gift bags and bows again. We have a container at our house that we put gift bags and wrapping paper and bows in that can be reused. Um, you can use, if you've ever used a Walmart bag or a Kroger bag, again, some people keep those bags and the next time they have stuff to carry, they put them in those bags. Those are all ways to recycle and reuse things so you're not wasteful. Can you think of some other things you can recycle or reuse? Every day should be Earth Day when it comes to protecting the environment. So this person is recycling old cans. You can recycle soda cans and vegetable cans, fruit cans. Try to recycle or reuse something every day. If you get a piece of paper out and you just make a little note on it to remind you of something like a to-do list, instead of throwing that away when you're done, flip it over on the back and maybe you can use it to make another list on or to draw. Or sometimes in class, whenever I get down our extra, um, I, built, I think it's a red tub. Maybe it's a black. I think it's a red tub. When I say, hey, will you go put this in the red tub? When I have extra worksheets that I pass out, if I have extras, I put them in that red tub. And then sometimes if people want paper to draw on, I say, go get a paper out of that red tub. And then they take that worksheet and they flip it over and they draw on the back. So that's a way to reuse and recycle. Here's six or eight words that it wants you to know after you read this book. Let's see if you know them all. I know, let's look at it, get closer. There you go. Now you know what a cell phone is. Do you know what chemicals are? We talked about how chemicals can be really bad for the environment. Here's Gaylord Nelson. Remember, he is the one who wanted to start Earth Day. He realized that people were treating the environment poorly, so he wanted to help that. A parade. People parade around and remind people to help conserve. Pollution means to get things dirty or to not be careful and to get them yucky. Recycle means to reuse something again. You know what a tree is. We can plant trees to help for Earth Day because that gives more oxygen to the air. And vegetable garden. It's great to grow your own vegetables or fruit. The end. It says that our, our author, Trudy, is a former television news reporter and weather forecaster. She has written more than 30 fiction and nonfiction books for children. She lives in Seattle, Washington with her husband, Bill. So, and here's all the other books that she has written. And it looks like she writes a lot of books about holidays to teach about holidays. So that is our story on Earth Day. I hope that you will take an AR test on this book. Like I said, the code is 109440, but I will put that underneath this video as well. So you have two jobs for me. One is to take an AR test on this book, and two is to find something around your house that can be recycled and use it again. And if you think of a really creative thing to do, send me a picture of it so I can see. All right? The last thing that I want to do with you, I'm going to do in another video, but we are going to make some words out of the word planet Earth. So get a pencil and a paper and join me for the next video. Okay? I'll see you in just a minute.